You've got it tuned to KEXP, listener-powered radio at 90.3 FM in Seattle, streaming worldwide at kexp.org. I'm Cheryl Waters, and I'm here in the studios with Dude York, a brand new album called Falling. So excited to hear these songs live today. Want to kick us off with a couple of tracks before we chat? You got it. Absolutely. I don't know what I'd do if you'd said no.
Jude York live here in the KEXP studios. Falling is the brand new album that comes out this Friday on Hardly Art Records. Thank you for coming in and sharing these songs with us today. Thank you so much for having us, Cheryl. We're such big fans of the band. It's always fun to have you here in studio. Thank you. You've played some sets out on the Gathering Space stage, and it uh, kind of feels like sometimes you're our local house band. <laughs> we think of you often when we think about who would we want to play? Uh, something that we're doing here at KEXP, and it's just so fun to see you with the new album now. Thank you so much. You know, we've always thought of ourselves as purveyors of house music <laughs> as well. You bring a lot of joy um, through your music. It's catchy. The songs are heartfelt and emotive. And I think of that first song that you started with, Box, from your new album, Falling, the first one that you just played. I love the video of that, and I feel like the vibe of that kind of encapsulates how the band makes me feel. It's super playful. It makes Makes me, of course, want to dance. And but th in the video, there's two people basically dancing um, during the whole thing. And you would think it's just sort of fun and playful and dance. But then one of the dancers is just staring at you directly. So I feel like it's very intense and like I feel seen. And that's what I feel like when I listen to your music. It's very playful it's very fun but you really connect with your audience and that's been something that I feel like has been a hallmark of the band since the beginning that relationship that you have with your audience can you talk a little bit about that just in the sense that uh that's really important to us that whole read that Couldn't you said, said yeah. about ourselves really <laughs> that's the ideal that's the ideal dynamic that we're looking for I feel like it really starts with the band, though. You can tell how much you all care about each other. I feel like your friendships go back quite a long time, and there's just a lot, seemingly, I'm guessing, mutual respect among one another. Tell me what the dynamics like in the band, you know, when you're making music, writing songs, on tour. Uh, you know, like, we have known each other for... Um a long time. Peter and Andrew went to college together. I've known Peter since high school. Yeah. We didn't go to high school together, but we were around each other. And I think, yeah, being in a band, you have just such a unique relationship with people because you spend so much time with them and being supportive is like very important. Tour is hard. You gotta be there for each other. <laughs> Over the years and with each new album, you've become just ever more collaborative as a band. And Peter, I read an interview once where you said you don't trust your own voice without Andrew's input. And of course, Claire, you're writing more songs. We hear your voice more than ever on this new album, Falling. Talk about how that dynamic works in the band. Well, like you said about the like you feeling seen by the music of Dude York, I think that um, that comes from a place of us being able to be recognized and seen by each other. I think it all stem, it all comes from that that place of of compa com <laughs> compassion and empathy. Is the uh, I thought you were going to say competitiveness. <laughs> well, there certainly is a lot of competitiveness, and Andrew and I have certainly a contentious <laughs> relationship often. And and um, Claire, we're getting into that more competitive space too as you start to. Take up more I, and more I of the percent. It's never, it's never a competition. <laughs> Compassionate competitiveness. I learned it from that, my sister. You know, that, is a, that is a good way to put it. <laughs> Shouts I'll out call. to Morgan. Morgan Richards and Hannah. You have sort of um, done it all when it comes to making music. You've recorded at home. You've recorded in a studio. You've worked with some incredible producers, had a lot of people teaching you things along the way. I imagine you've learned a lot going through all those experiences. Tell me about the making of Falling. Um, so this is a record where I think we started with a lot of... So we started with a lot of songs and... Like 39 demos. Yeah, right? I think it was something like 39 demos. And uh, we decided it would be a good idea to get out of town and try making a record that way for the first time because we've had the whole experience where you try to make a record at home and it takes a year and a half instead of uh, six weeks or two weeks or whatever. So we just sort of uh, went down to San Francisco and uh, worked with our friend Patrick at Different Fur and spent like two weeks just working on a record, which we'd never had the luxury of being able to do before. And it's really remarkable how when you actually just have as much time as you need to a point to get things done, you uh, things both 
get done, and they get done kind of how you want rather than uh, how everything is going to have to get done because everybody just kind of was in a panic and needed to get things finished as quickly as possible. Um, and it's been, it was really fun to make a record where there was just a lot of, uh, we had a lot of really unhealthy food and uh, we slept weird hours and... We drank over a hundred collective sugary iced coffee beverages. Oh yeah. Nice. Shout out to Faze uh, Audio and Faze Coffee and Video in San Francisco, uh, home of the Joe Cool, or you can ask for a Dude York. I think they have Oatly again. That's awesome. Well, did you try any new kind of tricks in the studio when you go into each new place, work with new people? I imagine they bring some interesting things to the table that you hadn't thought of before. I don't think we've ever repeated a process. And so it's hard to bring the lessons you learned in the previous um, experience with you to one that you're going into kind of blind. Patrick Brown was really... He's been such an advocate of ours for so long and it really felt good to work with him to finally like have a budget to work with someone. And um, he brought a really cool perspective to the table and the people at different fur studios. Mm -hmm. It's also like the home base of this label, Text Me Records, and there's so many like really fire um, Bay Area rappers and musicians of different kinds going in and out of the studio of all hours of the day and night. And it was just really invigorating to be around such a like, you know, kinetic space. I think it, I think the record sounds like it. It sounds like you really went into things open-minded with a sense of adventure. Yeah. yeah. I think also the, one of the biggest uh, ideas that we did on this one, as opposed to maybe previous albums, is pre-production and like <laughs> being deliberate with what, you know, well, what do we want to play? Like, how do we want it to sound? And what's going to be, what's going to serve the song the best? Yeah. And I think it was a little bit about like, trying to make a record about adolescence from the perspective of one's late 20s and like interacting with like the music that you liked as a kid and why you liked it and trying to reckon with like how it still resonates in your life and kind of using those as like touchstones for like what the songs are going to sound like but you want to like tell your own stories and tell them like in the context that isn't just uh, some guy who's seven years older than you who just got, who was hypothetically wronged by somebody who probably didn't do anything, just sort of yelling at you a lot uh, with a really high voice or whatever. Um, but it was about sort of just like those shots like fired. exploring. <laughs> yeah, who's, who's he talking about? <laughs> uh, just a lot of records I heard on the radio in like 2003, 2004, 2005. I don't, know, I don't know. Where I grew up, the radio just started playing like adult contemporary in 03, so I don't really know what happened. I work a lot. I work at the Showbox and... Um, I feel like you can tell a really good band when the onus, uh, the emotional onus of the song is, songs are consistently on the narrator rather than on the subject. And I think that um, there aren't as many, I don't know, I'm not gonna get in, I'm not trying to fire any shots, but that's important to us too, is to keep, keep the narrator uh, suspicious. <laughs> Well, and Andrew, you talk about um, this, these songs lyrically mm -hmm. taking you sort of to your past. And I feel a nostalgia when I listen to this record, and especially when I watch the video for Falling. It's just mm -hmm. a sweet, nostalgic. Uh, uh, and it's just a wonderful, and I feel like that sort of infuses this whole record. And uh, definitely is super fun and uh, yeah. puts me in a neat headspace when I listen to it. Thank you. I think that song um, came together, I think, later in the, uh, compared to the 39 demos we started with. It was sort of, and, you know, it ended up being the title track. So I think that once we had that, it, it kind of crystallized a lot of the ideas that we p then pulled out of the other songs. And we're like, oh, it's kind of like, yeah, it's like a nostalgic relationship album. Well, you hit the nail on the head with this one, the new album from Dude York called Falling. I think we're going to hear that title track in this next set. And Dude York's going to be playing an in-store at Easy Street Records this Friday. That's the day their new album comes out. And I think you're going to be doing a DJ set at Life on Mars on Thursday night yeah. or afternoon. Sure. Eight o'clock. I'll unwrap my uh, Josie and the Pussycats vinyl soundtrack. 
Ooh, that's right. It's an all vinyl bar. That's going to be It'll super really fun. Oh, they're breaking the rules for me. The value of it because it, it hasn't been opened yet. But I'm doing all of my own music, and I don't. I mean, like things that I've made by myself that I haven't. Last time we did a DJ set, that's how we did our Christmas album from it's last year. The only year. way that you can hear Peter's unreleased yeah, cuts. Yeah, please so far. come and see it and hear all my unreleased music. If you want to hear the other 200 songs that almost that yeah. were uh, in consideration for the next seven albums, yeah, not you can hear them all on Thursday night, maybe. Not including the ones, the 39 from the. That uh, sounds like a fun week for Dude York and all of us. We've got Dude York live here in the KEXP studios. Songs from the new album Falling, which comes out this Friday on Hardly Art. What's up next? Songs called Doesn't Matter Anyway. Listening to Jude York live on KEXP. Songs from the new album Falling coming out this Friday. They're going to be doing an in store record release party this Friday at Easy Street Records. We're just switching uh, guitars real quick here, and then we're going to play the title track from our new record, Falling. It's called Falling.
without anything It is would be Where the passion lines up the title track from the new Dude York album coming out this Friday. Claire, Andrew, Peter, thank you so much for coming in today. That was so fun. Thanks for having us. Thank you so much. We'll see you again soon, maybe this Thursday night at Life on Mars and Friday Easy Street record release show. Perfect. What time is that one at? <laughs> Seven o'clock. And it's free and it's all ages, so you should totally come. That and is, bring your kids. Yeah, bring the kids. It's always great to get young kids out exploring great new music. The children of the future. Exactly. We believe that. We believe that, too. <laughs> You've got a tune to KEXP, where the music matters, here in Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.